Zone. Next at 10, a North County pastor is behind bars, accused of molesting a child. What stunned neighbors are saying about his arrest. The data of millions of patients potentially exposed in a major security breach. How a flaw in one health insurance company's computer system may have allowed it to happen. Racist rant at a local coffee shop caught on camera. Hear from the man who shot the video. News 8 at 10 starts right now. You're watching San Diego's breaking news leader. This is News 8 on the CW San Diego at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Eric Connor. New tonight, the private information of millions of people in California may have been put at risk of exposure. A major insurer that offers coverage through Covered California is reporting a serious data breach. As News 8's Brandon Lewis tells us, a security flaw in its own system may be to blame. This is a system that they did to themselves. Uh, their own programmers created the, the vulnerability or the hack. Other people take advantage of it. The data of nearly 5 million Molina customers was open for other customers to see. Cybersecurity experts say the popular Covered California insurer was using an outdated customer portal for years. This is not something that just all of a sudden cropped up. It's been there all along. Now, the question is how long has people noticed it? The way it worked, customers would log into their accounts. Then, by making a slight adjustment to the URL, they could access anyone else's data, including names, address, diagnosis, and medications. So they may never really figure out how many records got compromised. And so the safe bet is just to assume they all are. Molina declined an on-camera interview, but said in a statement to News 8, we are in the process of conducting an internal investigation to determine the impact, if any, to our customers' information and will provide any applicable notifications to customers and or regulatory authorities. Protecting our members' information is of utmost importance to Molina. Until it's completed, Molina customers receive this maintenance message online, trying to do basic tasks like trying to find a doctor. The company is telling customers online the system is just temporarily unavailable. Some experts say they may not have much to worry about. You would think if somebody was actually using this data to do something, by now we would know. And they didn't really know. So I suspect that really not that many records have been found. Brandon Lewis, News 8. Concerned customers can contact Molina Healthcare at the number that you have on your insurance card. Now, there is no timeline for when the patient portal will be securely up and running once again. Tonight, a man is behind bars accused of murdering his own father in Rancho Santa Fe. 71-year-old Leighton Dory III was found strangled and beaten inside his home yesterday morning by his wife. Hours later, his son, 39-year-old Leighton Dory IV, was taken into custody near Idlewild in Riverside County. We're going to try and find out what the motive was in this, uh, what led up to this attack. And obviously, we're going to be speaking with family members, extended family members, you know, folks, even folks who were not there at the scene, but folks who may have some intimate details as to the relationship between the two. Dory's arraignment has not yet been scheduled. In the meantime, deputies are asking anyone with information about this murder to please come forward. The man who tried to kidnap a seven-year-old girl outside her Solana Beach Elementary School was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison today. 24-year-old Jack Doshe pleaded guilty in March to kidnapping and assault with intent to molest. He was arrested in April of 2015. He spent the past two years getting treatment for a mental health disorder. The judge ordered him to register as a sex offender. A woman accused of using a stolen credit card, baby in tow, at a Santee Walmart makes her first court appearance. 33-year-old Maria Gaffney pleaded not guilty to identity theft charges today. Prosecutors say Gaffney used the stolen card to buy groceries last month with a baby in her shopping cart. Authorities also found stolen mail and social security cards in Gaffney's home. She is due back in court next month. Caught on camera, a man goes on a racist rant inside of a La Jolla coffee shop at one point, even getting physical with someone who approached him. Now I have saw the video. shove right there. It happened Tuesday night at the living room coffee shop on Prospect Street. The man berated customers and employees using racial slurs and even challenging one person to take the fight outside. We talked to the man who recorded the entire incident. You read about this type of stuff happening online all the time, you know, like racist outbursts in areas, but when you actually see it, it's a lot different and it really sinks in, uh, like what's going on. 
The rant continued for several minutes outside until police arrived. At one point, the man threw his hands in the air and started apologizing. No word yet on his identity or the charges he could face. A smoldering trash fire sent a plume of smoke into the sky over Tirasana late this afternoon. According to San Diego Fire Rescue, flames broke out in the back of a trash truck around 4.30 near the intersection of Antigua Boulevard and Via Rica Way. The driver pulled into a nearby parking lot and dumped the burning load. Firefighters quickly extinguished the flames. No damage or severe injuries were reported. Today, local students had a whale of a time at SeaWorld's newest show. This is Orca Encounter, the new Shamu show designed to showcase the animals in a more natural setting. The goal is to teach guests about orcas and hopefully ease criticism from groups who don't believe killer whales belong in, in captivity. Today, the park also opened up Ocean Explorer, and a third area is set to open up next month. Just in time for parents to have something to do with the kids this summer, right? right school's out next week. Yeah, California is leading the way in fighting climate change, but it may come at a steep cost. That story is still ahead. The wild chain reaction crash caught on camera in Sacramento. Plus, customers duck for cover after a gun battle erupts in a Texas auto dealership. And the newly released dash cam video of police arresting golf great Tiger Woods for DUI. And the month of June arrives in just a couple of hours. Will it be gloomy? Your eight-day microclimate forecast is coming up when News 8 on the CW San Diego continues. Dan Cohen on News 8 Morning Extra, 7 to 9 a.m. on the CW San Diego. 26 bones, hundreds of ligaments and tendons. That's a lot to go wrong, Doctor. What does the Good Feet Arch Support System do? A redistribution of weight, better support for the entire body. It can relieve pain. Yes. Put your foot in a more ideal position to better support your foot and whole body, pain-free. So why do I need help, Doctor, figuring out which arch supports I need? Arch size, shoe size, two totally different animals. I have never heard that. High arches, low arches. Yeah, it makes sense. Visit Good Feet for a free personal fitting. That's what I was thinking. We're neighbors. <laughs> we may be different. <laughs> From another planet. Greetings, humans. <sighs> or simply unbelievable. Good morning. But as your neighbor, we look out for you. So we're giving you over 175 days of thrills, laughter, and wonder. The California Neighbor Pass, just 129 online at Universal Studios. They seemed like a really good family, nice people, so I'm not going to have any judgment at this point. Neighbors react to word that a pastor at a North County church is now behind bars, facing child molestation charges. Sheriff's deputies say 43-year-old Matthew Tagg turned himself in and told them he engaged in lewd behavior with a child for about a year. Tagg is a pastor at North Coast Calvary Chapel in Carlsbad, but deputies say the victim is not connected to the church. News 8's Abby Alford is live in Carlsbad tonight with more on the disturbing allegations. Abby? Marcella and Eric, deputies tell us that the uh, vic alleged victim is not connected here at the church. Now, the church tells us that once they learned about these allegations, they reported it to the sheriff's department, and that's when they terminated the pastor. Family ministry pastor Matthew Tagg at the well-known North Coast Calvary Chapel in Carlsbad now accused of 16 counts of child sex crimes against a child under the age of 14. The sheriff's department says he self-reported on Monday. According to my detective, he called the sheriff's department, which prompted the response from the patrol uh, deputy and then my detective went out and continued the investigation. A statement released by the church says once the staff learned of the allegations, they immediately reported it to the sheriff's department. Mr. Tegg called the sheriff's department. Uh, if he did so with con in conjunction with the church, I'm, I'm not sure. This is video of Tagg giving a sermon about parenting. Sheriffs assured the alleged victim is not related to the church. We have no information indicating it has anything to do with his duties at the church. It appears that this has been going on for about a year. The church is in the city of Carlsbad and Tag lives in San Marcos under sheriff's jurisdiction. His church bio says he's been married for 20 years and has six kids, three adopted. One neighbor says they were only acquaintances. 
I'm not going to judge him because I don't really know him and I don't I can't say that I saw anything or would have a reason to believe there was anything going on. The church wouldn't go on camera but released a statement to News 8 and on Facebook asking parishioners to pray for Tag and his family. Parishioners writing, I sincerely really like Matt and was moved by his sermons. I'm praying it's not true. Innocent till proven guilty. I'm devastated by the news. So sad. The pastor faces 16 counts. Two of them are child molestation with force and 14 lewd and lascivious acts against a child under 14 years old. Now, since there are these 14, 16 counts right here, and because of the set schedule of bail, he is being held on $1.9 million. He's scheduled to be arraigned on June 2nd. Marcella. I'll take it. All right. Thanks a lot, Abby. Matt Tagg's bio also says before North Coast Calvary, he was assistant pastor at Carlsbad Community Church and senior pastor at Rancho Del Rey Church. We left messages for comment, but we did not get a response. Scary moments of a chain reaction crash caught on camera in Sacramento. It happened on the Capital City Freeway around 4.30 this morning. A total of seven vehicles were involved in this wreck. Everyone in the collision was able to walk away with no major injuries. Terrifying moments at a Texas car dealership this week when shots were fired and it was all caught on camera. But we must warn you, the video, pretty graphic. He got it. That was cell phone video from yesterday at a Nissan dealership in Greenville. Police say two men from a security company were trying to take a known fugitive into custody when they got into a scuffle. The men all pulled out guns and started shooting. When it was all over, all three had been shot and killed. No one else was injured. In his mugshot, Tiger Woods looks sleepy and a bit dazed. Now tonight, dash cam video shows just how impaired the pro golfer was when he was arrested two days ago. We have video of his arrest that was captured on dash cam. This happened in Jupiter, Florida a couple days ago. Working to get that video for you right now. Hi, Mr. Woods. This dash cam video shows championship golfer Tiger Woods struggling to perform a field sobriety test in Jupiter, Florida. Is I want you to put your left foot on that white line, and then I want you to put your right foot with your heel touching your toe directly in front of it, okay? Barefoot and unable to keep his balance, Woods continued to step off the white line and had trouble reciting the alphabet as instructed. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Officers on patrol early Monday found his banged up black Mercedes on the side of the road. Up in the right hand lane. But with two flat tires and the engine still running. Do you remember being asleep in the car? You don't? Officers took him into custody. Okay, sir, what I want you to do is go ahead and place your hands behind your back, okay? Two breathalyzer tests showed his blood alcohol level was zero, and Woods later explained his condition was caused by an unexpected reaction to a mix of prescription medications, including Vicodin. I'm placing you under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence, okay? Just last month, the 41-year-old had his fourth back surgery. It's been great for the game of golf, and uh, uh, I think he, he needs all our help. And uh, we wish him well. Ranked number one in the world 20 years ago. His peers remember the old Tiger and are hoping to see him back on the course one day. Just the aura about the guy was, was so special. And I miss that out here because I, I really do want to play against him at, at his best. And I, I want him to be healthy and, and play. Woods received two citations for driving under the influence and illegal parking. And if convicted, he faces up to $1,000 in fines and up to six months in jail. His first court appearance is scheduled for July 5th. It is not official yet, but President Trump has indicated he is pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement. California has long been at the forefront in the fight against climate change, but taking the lead could come at a cost. An impending gas tax could mean a hike of anywhere from 30 cents to a dollar a gallon over the next 10 years. And that has some lawmakers worried about people's reaction with good reason. It depends on what the measures, you know, that would be taken. I think we pay enough as it is. I really do. I think we pay enough as it is. It just gets crazy. The proposed gas tax is earmarked to fix roads, highways and bridges. 
Critics in the business community say the hard push for more green energy is a job killer that will continue to push up utility costs. Well, it's a happy ending tonight for a horse named Freckles and her owner, thanks to a group of dedicated volunteers. It was noon on Sunday when Freckles was spooked by mountain bikers and dumped her owner. She took off in an area east of Highway 79, just north of the Visitor Center in Cuyamaca, Rancho State Park. About a dozen horse-loving volunteer searchers came together. Then, three days later, some good news. Found you a horse. How'd you like her back? I'd like it. She's, a, she's a real sweetie. She is a good girl. I don't think she's got any marks on her. She, what you do, have a vacation? <laughs> Freckles was taken immediately to the vet, but seems to be doing just fine. Now, your microclimate forecast with meteorologist Matt Balo. Good to hear about Freckles. Three days out there. And nice no weather No major for her. injuries. Not yeah. too hot. Not nice too weather. Bad. Not too bad, yes. Uh, welcome. Yes, Eric, thank you. San Diego. Yes, and, and welcome to everyone watching our newscast for the very first time. CW. Show on the News 8 yeah. And Marcella, your old hat for you, I know. But, <laughs> and Eric, you come from Minnesota. That's right. It's yeah. nice to have a second Minnesota person Vikings. on the set here, yes. Yes, that right Michigan up. Wolverine over there. Yeah. That, uh, right. And a lot of Packers fans here, too. Yeah, well, th thankfully none on the set. <laughs> That's right. So, um, well, we'll talk about that more later. In the meantime, lots of clouds out there at the moment. We still have a mainly gray sky out there, but visibility is not too bad downtown. This is a live picture from our News 8 Skycam looking from Soledad towards downtown there. You do have a lot of overcast conditions out there, and there is some haze, but 62 is the temperature. The wind is out of the south at 7. We've got a relative midi right now that's at 84%. Those humid levels out there, uh, it's humid in a lot of spots, from the mountains all the way to the coastline. You'll notice tonight here at 10 o'clock, we have humidity levels that are running anywhere from 80 to 95% from the coast right into the foothills. It's a very moist atmosphere that we have. That's why we have the low clouds overhead. It's moist enough that you'll be getting some patchy drizzle from time to time as well this evening. We've already seen some of that out there. And in addition to that, some limited visibilities. Visibility right now down to three miles in Fallbrook. It's five mile visibility here at 10 o'clock in Ramona. Uh, you might see some, I don't think you'll see some dense fog or anything like that. Visibilities will be reduced. Again, thanks to all this moisture that we have out there. There's been some scattered drizzle, most of it too light to be picked up on the radar, but it'll be out there overnight tonight into tomorrow morning as well. Kind of a gray, cloudy way to end the month of May. Temperatures tonight, mostly in the upper 50s and lower 60s. It may drop a couple of degrees by tomorrow morning, but that's it. For many San Diegans, you're already at the lows of the night, thanks to all this moisture that's in the atmosphere. And for the month of May, we ended up just about a one degree above normal over the course of the entire month, even though there were some record highs and some record colds that were set during the last 31 days. Three years ago, uh, we had some very warm water out over the ocean, had one of the hottest Mays on record, but since then, it's been pretty normal, including this month. Very wet, however, this time around. The fourth wettest May on record with 92 hundredths of an inch. That's almost eight times what we normally get during the past month. And as far as the cloud cover, it's one of the cloudiest months of the year. 58% uh, is what we typically get, but this year we only had 36%. And you'll have some of those clouds as we continue overnight tonight. Those clouds, however, tomorrow should be burning off by about noon or so. So we're looking for a much better chance for some sunshine out there, especially during the afternoon hours. That will continue into tomorrow, but as we get towards Friday as well, you'll start to see some slightly warmer temperatures. So look for some upper 60s to lower 70s at the beach through the next several days. Inland, a little bit of a bump on the way as we get towards Friday and Saturday. Temperatures are getting back into the lower 80s, so although we've had a very gray end to the month of May here, mm -hmm. it looks like June may start out a little bit gloomy tomorrow, okay. but hopefully your sunglasses are still you know within reach of the back <laughs> seat there yes. because you're going to need them here, I think, by sometime during the day. Good to hear. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Matt. The Padres are looking for their season-high fourth win in a row today over the Cubs. Kyle's up next with highlights. Plus, an emotional day for one American at the French Open. Kyle will explain what had this player in tears next. News 8 is sponsored by Stanley Steamer for all your floor care needs. At Stanley Steamer, we go beyond carpet cleaning. We're also experts at cleaning tile and ground. Our high-pressure equipment extracts dirt powerfully, yet safely, with far better results than mopping. We can even seal or recolor your grout for a fresh look. For all your floor care needs, call 888-STEAM-2000 or schedule online. Now, News 8 Sports, here's Kyle Kraska. 
about this Padres? We haven't had a lot to cheer about this year, no, have we? No. Right. So you win four in a row, and it's a big deal because the, the Padres hadn't won four in a row this year. Right. They didn't win four in a row last year. August of 2015, the last time they were due for a row. sweep. So let's Incredible. let's get excited about this. Yeah, our San Diego Padres currently enjoying really their best stretch of baseball since last June. They've won six of their last eight. That includes four in a row, going for the sweep of the defending champion Cubs today. And another glimpse of the future here. And it was a good one. Luis Perdomo striking out Jason Hayward in the seventh. He goes seven innings, allows just three hits and just one run. It was tied at one until the Padres go ahead in the eighth. Franchi Cordero ripping this one into the right center field gap. This will go for a one-out triple. He would later score on a sacrifice, and the Padres go on to win 2-1. to one. They get the sweep. They get the sweep. How about that? First sweep of the year, 2-1, to one, the final today from Petco Park. Another elimination game for UC San Diego in the Division II National Championship Series today. They were up 8-4 on Lindenwood, Missouri, and they add on here. This is Alex Iliopoulos going into the corner. Two-run score, five runs in the inning. Now to the bottom of the ninth, Tritons up by five. Tim Nelson gets the ground ball. Great play by Tyler Housley to get the out, and that's that. UCSD wins 11 to 6. They are now in the final four. And tomorrow at 1 p.m., they will face St. Thomas Aquinas. And yes, another elimination game. Good luck. Way to go. Stanley Cup Finals continuing tonight in Pittsburgh. The Penguins looking for a 2-0 lead on Nashville. Fans in Nashville watching outside their arena, cheering on for a Predators win. Good start here. Pontus Aberg, what a move. Through the legs of a defender, backs his way up, gets the goal, 1-0 Nashville. But all Penguins after that, they score seven seconds into the third period. Jake Gensel, who's been terrific, scores there, a wide open net off the rebound. They scored three times in just over three minutes, and now the Penguins lead that series two games to none. What a day today for American Steve Johnson at the French Open. His dad died at the age of 58 just three weeks ago. He argued with an umpire there, was called for an for a intentional foul uh, on a ball abuse penalty. Ridiculous. But in the end, he comes through, gets the win, sobbing as he defeats his opponent, Borna Chorich. He said after the match, you know, his dad was his coach, and his dad coached, coached a lot of players here in the state of California, and he said that his, his dad was with him all the time in tennis. Everything he did, everything he accomplished in tennis, his dad was there for him. Now he's going about it alone, but he said he kind of felt today his dad was watching and, uh, and helping him get through this match. You could just feel his emotion. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That extra momentum. So sad, but he's on to the third, third quarter now. Special win. Yeah, we'll Thanks, see. Thanks, Kyle. A couple of new therapy animals ride into the North County. Coming up, we'll introduce you to these mini horses and show you the impact they're having in the community so far. I want four two-for-one drink coupons, 20 ride coupons, four adult admissions, and a coupon book. All for $74. That's a 40% savings. Yep, for everyone. Yeah! yeah. Wild Bunch? No, the Value Pack. Get the Value Pack. All this here for just $74. Giddy up to the San Diego County Fair, presented by Albertsons Bonds. You know what I could go for right now? Hmm. Some sweet barbecue. Oh. Or spicy. We got a creamy! Here, try my barbecue bacon cheeseburger with your choice of sweet or spicy barbecue sauce topped with bacon and onion rings. Oh, thanks, thanks, Jack. Jack. <laughs> Piece of cake. Oh, oh, Jack. You crave it, we serve it. My new sweet or spicy barbecue bacon cheeseburger and chicken sandwich. Crave it! It's Mike! Oh. Max. Caroline. Mike and Molly and two broke girls back to back. Weekdays starting at 5 on The CW San Diego. There's a new animal making its introduction into pet therapy here in San Diego. The Helen Woodward Animal Center has added two mini horses to its pet encounter therapy program. The horses, named Rootbeer and Edward, have already logged six therapy sessions visiting with more than 200 people. The program provides support to schools, nursing homes, and hospitals. Of course they're going to give everyone a smile, right? Look at those. Rootbeer, Edward, Love cute. Them. Thanks so much for watching News 8 on the CW San Diego at 10. Entertainment Tonight is next. The entire staff at Permadonics is amazing.